ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ड्स ऑफ विजडम वी हैव बीन स्टडी द बायोग्राफी ऑफ बाबा सिंस हिज चाइल्डहुड टाइम्स एंड वी आर नोइंग सो मेनी डिवाइन सीक्रेट्स अंडरलाइंग मेनी ऑफ द इवेंट्स दैट हैपेंड ड्यूरिंग दोज डेज Let us continue the study further. Razu meaning our Baba. Though Razu resented any treatment, he was once again forced to go to a particular Sid Gunananda Swami, also called Sid Gunananda Maharaj. He has two names, Sid Gunananda Swami. He is also called Sid Gunananda. Maharaj well he stays at his hermitage in Kottacheru Raju and the others set out from Puttaparthi in a bullock cart intending to cross the Bukkapatnam reservoir Krishna Raju who was in the group would say later that after going a little way the bullock cart would go no further chandramauli the driver complained that he was unable to see properly he felt as if the hills around the area were falling over him when he turned the bullock cart in the direction of puttaparthi not only did the cart move easily but the driver too could see clearly and was rid of his strange feeling it only means baba did not allow the cart to move nor the driver to persuade the cart move further there he revealed his divinity later what happened was when someone sought Chid Ghananda Maharaj audience he said referring to baba is daivamsa sambhuta meaning embodied divinity don't take him anywhere leave him alone it was strange that humanity as usual would be steeped in fear of the unknown that the divine manifestations our wise counsels would not change it so this as an instance of expression of his divinity now during this period the erudite lawyer p t krishnamachari who had performed rasu's akshara abhyasam meaning introducing to formal uh, education akshara abhyasa practicing uh, writing alphabets came from penugunda to see raju his four fathers were honored residents of puttaparthi where he had spent his childhood now having heard of the remarkably wonderful words and behavior of that same sachin raju he came to investigate for himself perhaps at the request of Razu's parents, or at the insistence of Razu himself, having seen Razu, you must have known by this time Razu is our Baba. Having seen Razu, he pronounced his judgment: a demon has entered this boy, an extraordinarily powerful one. Human exorcists cannot help, and even ordinary gods. will fail god narsimha the divine incarnation as man lion alone has the power to frighten the demon and force him to free rasu take him to ghatika chala to the big narsimha swam temple there where hundreds such cases have been cured by his grace venkam rasu felt a new hope in this idea 
knowing about Narasimha from pilgrimage to other Narasimha shrines. He was about to write down the directions for traveling. Satya held up his hand. Krishna Charigaru, this is funny. The advice you give. Who do you think is there in the Gatikachalam temple? I. And you want these people to take me to me? Take me to me? This is an instance of expression of his divinity and total identification with Narasimha Swami. This he said to this Piti Krishnamachari, a lawyer, very esteemed person. Yes, soon the bouts of fits disappeared and the alternating states of trance and poetry recitation returned. The villagers thought he was in the grip of lunacy. Iswarama was distraught with worry and despair at this baffling state of her son. Yet very few could see in these things a pattern of divine behavior. However, the climax took place one day. His father had been upset at the rude reply his son had given the learned Krishnamachari. Coming out of the streets, he saw a crowd flocking around Razu. How could a mere boy call himself Narsimha and in that process hoodwink so many people? He could not take it anymore. He grabbed a stick and approached Razu, who by then had many people gathered around him on his grandfather's veranda. When Kamarazu, the father, pushed himself towards Razu and shouted, Stop this stupid drama. Tell me, are you a ghost or a rogue or a madcap? Are you a god? Are you Narasimha Swami or Narayana? The moment to know the truth had come. The frustration of the confused father demanded an explanation. Perhaps it is the process. The chaff had to be winnowed from the grain. Revelation had to surface. For young Sachra and Razu, Baba, this was probably the much awaited moment to reveal the truth. In a determined voice, he said, I am Sai Baba. The stick had fallen from his hands, but he went on angrily, You may be Sai Baba or Hari Baba. It does not concern us, but you had better leave this boy and this place. He was apparently addressing the spirit. He addressed the evil spirit that possessed his son. Please understand. You better leave this body. That's what he meant. No, said Razu, with the same composure. I am Sai Baba. I belong to Apastamba Sutra. I am of Bharadvaja Gotra. I have come because Venkava Dhuta and other saints prayed for my coming. I shall bless you and remove all that troubles you. Worship me on every Guruvara, or Thursday, the day of the Guru. Keep your mind and homes pure. Throughout the afternoon, he kept repeating to himself, Bhardvaja Gotra, Apastamba Sutra. This was to become a declaration to the world. Few could understand then what Razu had told them. Few would understand even later. Only when overwhelming waves of adoration swept over the people, none could resist it. The angry but blessed father, who on behalf of all humanity had dared to question his son, became a subdued man later. He was overwhelmed before divinity. This was a perennial gesture 
of human race. At Penugonda, people had heard of Sai Baba. Gopal Rao, the Karanam village head foster son, brought the news that Keshavaya, Keshavaya, the sub registrar of Penugonda, was a devotee of Sai Baba of Shirdi. He felt Keshavaya would be able to explain Raju's craziness and insisted that Raju be taken to him for treatment. Accordingly, one Thursday, the parents took him to Penugonda. Keshavaya, as a true devotee of Sai Baba of Shirdi, offered Vibhuti to Raju. Can't you see me, this Sai Baba? You have worshipped me for years, and I am here before you. Here, take this Vudi. So saying, Raju threw back the ash at the sub registrar's face. Keshavaya was taken aback by the response. Unable to comprehend Raju's gesture, he was annoyed and pronounced that Raju was suffering from delusion and sending the family back to Puttaparthi. Keshavaya, however, advised the family to install Shirdi Sai Baba's idol and sing bhajans. He assured that everything would be set right. Raju's craziness would leave. The family obeyed and brought a Shirdi Sai Baba statue made up of clay and a picture. On their return, they put the idol and the photo of Shirdi Sai Baba in the middle of the hall and performed bhajans for many days. In the period that followed, Razu cast off his mood of ill temper. He was no longer difficult and the days of gloom were gone. He determined to be congenial and cooperative and his Sharma and Subbamma were allowed to feed him with the delicacies in their full delight. One day, someone from Penugonda, probably at the insistence of the lately provoked Keshavaya, came to Razu home. Having heard of Razu, audacious claim that he was the Sai Baba of Shirdi, he threw out a challenge with a glaring eye. We know who you are. You are just a small boy, son of Venkamarazu and his Sarama. But if you are the same Sai Baba, the sub star worships, let us have the proof now. Hearing the unknown voice ringing arrogantly through the house, Iswarama emerged from the inner apartments. I shall give you the proof, said Razu, unruffled. He asked that flowers be brought to him. The man asked Israma herself to bring them, and she did so with trepidation. In a quick gesture, Razu flung them on the floor. There, that is who I am. They all saw the petals arrange themselves to form the Telugu words Sai Baba, Sai Baba. We'll continue in the next session.